In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert and edit headers and footers within your Microsoft Word document. Now, I'll be working in Microsoft Word for Mac, but if you're a Windows user, the process is pretty much the same, so you should be able to follow along. Now, you'll see on your document you have this white space at the top and also the bottom of each page, and this is your header and footer areas. To get into the header, all you need to do is double click in this white space here, or right click and choose edit header. Now you'll see if I type in a little bit of text, it places that text into the header area of every single page within this document. In particular, it highlights that this is a header for section one. If you're producing a document and you keep adding new pages just by basically getting to the end of one page, or perhaps using the insert page option, or command and enter to generate a new page, all you're doing is basically generating new pages within the same section. So your header is always going to be the same on every single page. However, if you want your header to be different on different pages, then you need to break your document up into sections. And I have a separate tutorial explaining how to do that, which you can find using the card above or the link in the description below. But for now, let's keep it really simple and just work with one single section for our document. So in this header area here, you can type anything you want in, you can tab so that the text appears in the middle, or you can tab and have it along on the right hand side. For the sake of this, let's pop us back to the very start of the document, the left hand side. And what we're going to do is instead of typing something, we're going to go up to these options that appear here. Now you'll notice within the header and footer tab that appears here, we have this because we have our header open. If I close a header, you'll see that header and footer tab disappears. So the only way you'll get that is to be in the header or the footer. I'm gonna go into the specific header options, and then you can basically make use of built-in headers. So you can see this one's a blank one where you can type your text on the left-hand side. You can go for a three column header. So you could have maybe the date, title of the document, and I don't know, a name on here. But I'm gonna use this one called the badge, and you'll see when I click on this one, it automatically inserts this header on every page. But you'll notice in this case, it's pulling in a field called document title, but we haven't actually assigned a title to our document. So what I need to do is I need to go up into the home tab, and then I'm gonna to go to file, and I'm going to go down to properties. And from here, I'm going to go into summary, and then you'll see we can type a title in for our document. So let's just call this one sample document headers and footers. And then what we'll do is we'll click on OK. Now, before I click OK, it's worth mentioning that you might want to fill in some of these other fields for your document, because I'll show you in a second, there's a field option you can use to automatically pull across this information, so you don't need to type it in yourself. And also, if you change it in here, it will then change within here. I'm gonna click OK though, and you'll see that the document header has updated to take on the name of the document itself. Now, I want to now go down into the footer. So what I'm gonna do is go into the header and footer tab here, and I could scroll down and click in the footer, but the easier way to get to there from the header is just to simply click go to footer. Now for the footer, I could go into the footer presets and take a look at what exists in here, but I'm gonna do it a slightly different way here. Instead, I'm going to type in some text here, and I'm gonna tab along and add some basic page numbers. Now I could, if I wanted to, type in the date, so I could put in that it is, let's see, I think today's the fifth, so 0506 to 23. But the problem here is if, for example, I have typed the date in incorrectly or if I'm using some other date, I need to manually change it in here. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use this field option found within headers and footers. And when we click on this one, it then allows me to choose from all of these different categories. So we can get time and date, we can have document automation, we can have indexes and tables. So for this one, I'm gonna choose date and time, and then I'm going to choose the creation date. However, you'll see instead of me just typing in today's date, I could actually choose date, which would be today's date. 
Then we can have the edit time, we can have the date that it's been printed. So there's a lot of different options in here. You'll see it changes. The description tells you what each of these basically mean. So if you want it to show the latest date for when it was last saved, for example, you might want to actually use the save date field. And in fact, let's use that one for this example. So I'm going to click OK, and then you'll see it automatically publishes the date and the time in here. And you'll see, in fact, it's actually the fourth today. So finally, what we want to do is we want to add in our page numbers. So I'm going to press the tab key and tab across a couple of times so that we're positioned in the bottom right. And then this time, instead of using the footer option here, because if I chose this page number one, it would clear this and just put page numbers in. Instead, I'm going to go to page number and then I'm going to choose the page number option here. And then you will see that it will give me the option of where I want to put the page numbers. I'm happy for them always to be on the right hand side. So we'll choose right and then we're going to click OK and you'll see the page number has been added. So now that we have added in our footer, let's click on close header and footer. And then if we just go back up to the top of the document, you'll see that we have the document title up here at the top in the header. Then we have the date when the document was saved and the page number. And as we scroll through the document, this has been added to every single header and footer within the document. And you'll see on this particular page, I have a basic number list here, but I've also got a really interesting multi-level number list here. And if you're interested in learning how to work with bulleted and numbered lists, then check out this tutorial here.